Okay. okay. We're back live. Uh, this is Jim Soper with the Ballots for Bernie. And we are talking with Jan Bendor, who is the statewide coordinator for the Michigan Election Reform Alliance. And we are going to have one more question. Our, our connection got cut at the end of the previous video. And we're going to carry on with just a summary. I had asked Jan of what she would like to see. And she was saying primarily to get hand counted paper ballots in the precincts on election night, get them counted on the election night. And citing Canada and Germany and a lot of other countries that do that. Um, we also, I, I mentioned Australia, which has a very good, very well respected election commission. And we should study what they're doing because even when the count takes three weeks for the Australian Senate about 2010, and, and they had a complicated system called single transferable vote. It took them three weeks. The control of parliament was hanging in the in the balance, and the Australians just had patience and believed in their people, uh, their election officials, and things went smoothly, much better than what we're seeing here. Uh, that was a quick summary. We need to simplify our elections here in, in the United States, especially in California, but probably across the country. But the last question then, Jane, was what can people do to help you with your fabulous work? Well, thank you. Uh, we have uh, welcomed volunteers already from other states uh, and uh, newly awakened uh, volunteers from our own state uh, to sign up to help us with further uh, investigation. And a lot of it can be done by phone and email. Uh, we are looking into such things as what really happened to the provisional ballots. Uh, we're going to have to dig up those public records, which are not published. You have to dig them up. Uh, what really happened to the machines and, and the breakdowns? So we're going to need to get uh, the logs of machine breakdowns. We're going to need to get records from other organizations that were keeping track of uh, calls uh, by voters to helplines. Uh, so we can get a sense for how widespread the disaster was with, with just the dilapidated machines. Um, we have... We're still uh, collecting statements from observers uh, at the recounts. We're collecting statements from voters. Uh, I'm, I just arranged to get uh, personal statements from several hundred students at a local community college who had horror stories about trying to vote. So all this kind of follow-up to document the, the election is going to be important. Um, if, if you would like to help, uh, uh, you can uh, just private message me on Facebook. Uh, or you can send me an email to jan at bendor.org, um, and we will be probably uh, getting organized for this follow-up investigation starting next week as, all the way through into January. Th this information, uh, we hope, will help us make the case for the reforms that we have in mind, uh, and we are pushing for a Blue Ribbon Commission in which the public has significant input as to how Michigan counts its votes in the future uh, so that we aren't left with egg on our face looking, uh, you know, like a complete disaster. And uh, we also need to do more research on, on costing out our proposals. Uh, if we're going to propose hand-counted paper ballots in the future, we have some significant cost analysis, but we need to make that really much tighter. We need people to help us do that. Uh, so uh, we have lots of different needs for volunteers. We also would love it if you would go on our website and make a contribution. Uh, we don't have any large supporters or donors. Uh, uh, we've tried to get some foundation grants for our hand-counted paper ballot study that we want to do that looks at methods and, and accuracy. Uh, so we're going to have to crowdfund uh, that work because the big foundations just aren't interested. Uh, the National Science Foundation uh, by the way, was willing to spend a million dollars to show which kind of touchscreen machine people would like the best, but they won't spend money on humans and a human factor study of uh, accurate and, and uh, fair hand counting. 
So these are projects that we could use help on. If you go to our website, there's a, a PayPal where you can make a donation. Uh, we would be really grateful for the help. That website is? MichiganElectionReformAlliance.org. All, uh, all one word. <laughs> all one word. And there's a Facebook page. I'm going to ask our viewers to keep on sharing this video as much as you can so that people can see it and the previous video. You can, of course, find these videos at on the Facebook page for Ballast for Bernie and on YouTube at the um, California Election Integrity Coalition channel, where all of our weekly broadcasts are being posted. And, and stay tuned because this week we will have more interviews with more great guests like Jen, people who are on the front line finding out what's going on in our elections and making proposals to how to improve our democracy. We simply cannot accept this stonewalling of democracy. And that's what really these recounts have been bringing out. Jeb, thank you very much for your patriotic and hard work. We need many more like you. And we hope to talk with you again in the future. It's, it's been a pleasure, and thanks for inviting me. Thank you. Bye-bye.